The Alabama woman who claimed she was kidnapped after spotting a toddler walking alone by a highway now admits it never happened. In a statement issued by her attorney yesterday, Carly Russell said she lied to police about the whole thing. It comes less than a week after investigators said they couldn't corroborate any part of Russell's story. Our national correspondent, Jerika Duncan, has more. There is a kid just walking by their cell. How old do they look? Um, like a toddler, like maybe like three or four. Shortly after that 911 call, Hoover police in Alabama reported Carly Russell had disappeared. 49 hours later, she showed up at home and told investigators she had been abducted. She started when she got out of her vehicle to check on the child. A man came out of the trees and mumbled that he was checking on the baby. She claimed that the man then picked her up and she screamed. But yesterday's update confirmed it was all a lie. There was no kidnapping. Chief Nicholas Durzes read a statement from Russell's attorney. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. The volunteers who were searching for her, to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. When this story made national headlines, social media was abuzz with comments from people who were encouraged by the attention a missing black woman's case was receiving. Volunteers and police are fanning out across the Birmingham area. According to the FBI's National Crime Information Center, nearly 40 percent of people reported missing are people of color. I just want your viewers to remember Keisha Jacobs. Tiffany Foster, Alexis Ware, Janaya Walker, Jennifer Blackman, and that's Natalie Wilson is co-founder of the nonprofit Black and Missing. She says the cases of those black women receive far less media coverage and fewer resources from law enforcement. A case like Carly Russell, does it hurt or does it help your cause? Of course, there are some individuals that are saying, I will never share a missing person's flyer again. And I ask them, please do not close your heart. Something else worth pointing out is that Russell said through her attorney that she did not have any help. She says she was alone during the time that she was reported missing. And the police also say, guys, that there's no motive as of yet, but they plan to talk to the attorney uh, later today to get some more information about why she did this. But of course, the attorney saying, keep her in your prayers. She apologized uh, for all that she caused. But I think it's very clear in the last five, 10 years, there has been more of an awareness and focus on people of color. Um, this is what Black and Missing is all about. They started this nonprofit 15 years ago. So on one end, it's bittersweet. They said a lot of people um, reached out to them, emailed them, so engagement was up. But of course, it doesn't look good when someone is using these resources only to find out it's a lie. When you're crying wolf, you pull those resources in that light that could be used for other black and brown missing kids. But it shouldn't stop people from taking these cases seriously. Right, right. And hopefully it won't make it tougher for the next one. Yep. Exactly. Thanks so much, Jerika. Thank you.